abusive clergy. While the Pope has acknowledged the gravity of the abuse, more needs to be done to offer redress to the victims and prevent these abuses from reoccurring. The Church must make up for this appalling record in concrete ways by cooperating with criminal investigations, opening up records of its internal inquiries to public scrutiny, and by offering an apology and reparations to all survivors of abuse, including those whose legal claims are now barred by statutes of limitations. To um, protest the fact that this visit by the Pope is a state funded visit, uh, given the crimes of which he's accused, and the fact that there is evidence against him suggesting that he's um, committed abuses in Africa and has defended the abuses of his uh, fellow priests. Remember, G. Weakland said. We all considered sexual abuse of minors as a moral evil, but had no understanding of its criminal nature. Wigland, who retired in 2002 after he became known that he paid $450,000 in 1998 to a man who had accused him of date rape years earlier, said he initially, he initially accepted naively the common view that it was not necessary to worry about the effects on the youngsters, either they would not remember or they would grow out of it. Weakland's critics allege that when he was Archbishop of, of Milwaukee, he had tried to cover up some of the widespread abuse, abuse that had taken place in the diocese, in particular by overseeing an evaluation in 1993 of Father Lawrence Murphy, one of those prosecuted for abuse. There he is. <laughs> You are supporting a man who has systematically tried to cover up child abuse. In 2001, the Archbishop of Milwaukee wrote 12 letters to the Congregation of the Doctrine of the Faith requesting Ratzinger. <coughs> Ratzinger issued a letter in 2001 to all bishops of the Catholic Church. This updates an earlier document from 1962 which states, As Assuredly, what must be mainly taken care of and complied with is handling these trials is that they be managed with maximum confidentiality and after the verdict is declared and put into effect, never be mentioned again. Opposing the distribution of condoms and so increasing large families in poor countries and the spread of AIDS and HIV. He has been responsible for promoting segregated education, denying abortion to even the most vulnerable women. He has been responsible for opposing lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender rights. He has failed to address the many cases of abuse of children within its own organisation. He has re rehabilitated Holocaust deniers and appeasers like Bishop Richard Williamson and the wartime Pope. Starting early, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> the state of which the Pope is the head has also resisted signing many major human rights treaties has formed its own treaties with many states which negatively affect the human rights of citizens in those states. As a head of state, the Pope is an unsuitable guest of the UK government and should not be accorded the honour and recognition of a state visit to our country. The British taxpaying public made up of people of many different religions. None should have to pay for secretarian religious leaders to visit the country. State visits should be secular, non-sectarian events. Education or other hard-pressed services. 
By contrast, the Vatican is extremely wealthy. Yeah, you're going to arrest us if you piss at the The finances of the Catholic Church are entirely opaque and mired in controversy, so no one outside the church can be sure how wealthy it really is. We do know that the Italian taxpayers alone give the Vatican about a thousand million euros every single year. Am I five? You know, we're not going to get any use of our MI6, MI6. Don't tell anyone, or I'll have to kill you though. MI5. Yeah. MI5. <laughs> Um, I consider myself someone who believes in the higher power. I don't believe in the institution of the church. I don't believe um, that what the church is doing is right. Before the Second Vatican, there were many more women in the Bible than there are now. They, they rewrote the Bible so that it would please and appease the men who are the head of the, the church. Um, for example, they changed the the story of Mary Magdalene, so that it would look like she was a whore, um, which she wasn't, she was a high priestess before they changed the, the Bible. Um, so that is just one of many, it's just one of many um, stories that didn't show, to ch changed in the Bible to appease the head of, head of the church. Okay, so, so what particularly about the Pope are you, are you here protesting? I'm protesting his views on um, gays and lesbians and gendered and bisexuals. I'm here to oppose him. Um, well, I'm here because he's against women as priests. He's against the, women, the female priesthood. Um, I just think he's too conservative for this time. In Well, our time is too conservative for now. Last pipe, <laughs> more ropes. 